Hey everybody, it's Nick. Uh, for the, today's tutorial, we're going to follow up on the sphere mapping uh, tutorial we had from before. So you can maybe call this part two of three. Um, this is an augmented reality tutorial. You can see in the example, we're inside of the dome now, moving the phone around, which kind of acts as our viewpoint, and it allows us to see kind of a panoramic view. And this is all just basically inside the dome uh, with, that, with that camera tracking. And so I kind of want to talk about how to... Um, make that work. Uh, so we go back to the old sphere map demo. Remember we had a sphere that we uh, applied like a material to, I've got my materials palette here. Um, get that open. So I got a material and I went ahead, I went ahead and mapped it to the diffuse channel. Um, and then I put like UVW map on it um, and collapsed it to a mesh. What we need to do for the next part is actually add a, um, I'll go here. So if I if I take the sphere, I want to go ahead and add a normal modifier. So I flip, I guess I should say. Uh, no, normal. Okay, there we go. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna play it now. This doesn't have if, if you have the two sided option, you know, turned off. It looks looks the same anyway. Okay, well, in any case, what we're gonna do though is by flipping the normals, we're gonna kind of turn the sphere inside out, and that allows us to be inside of the sphere and seeing what's what's uh, what's actually happening. Um, go ahead and export that as like an FBX. Uh, so again, just, just take your mesh from before, add a normal modifier, make sure flip normals is checked, export that FBX. We are going to go into uh, Unity here, and I've just got a basic kind of session uh, up. Everything is built in for AR, so I've got my package managers uh, installed with uh, with all of the um, of the AR foundation, AR core, AR kit, all that stuff. Um, and I made a AR session origin, AR session, all that stuff. So just the way that we've been handling like all these things before. So if you if you're not familiar with that, you might want to go back to one of the other, one of the other tutorials. But this assumes that all that's pretty much built um, at this point. Um, then from there, I've got my FBX that I already made. So I'm going to go ahead into my prefabs uh, folder that I made. And then if you don't have one, you can just make one in assets by right clicking and say create uh, folder. But I'm going to go into my prefabs. And I'm going to go ahead and take that model that I made that sky dome and like drop it in. Now you notice as it comes in, it doesn't look like anything. It doesn't have the, um, the image map to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into extract materials. And I made a folder called materials. So I'm going to say select folder. Then we go to extract textures. And again, I made a folder called textures. I'm going to extract it to that. Now, again, this all assumes, if you've been following other tutorials, right, that we properly exported the FBX. We want to make sure that there's a box checked. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So, uh, let's call this demo. Just make sure that when you're exporting that the embed media box is checked. That's the, that's, that's the crucial part, okay? If you don't have that, it's not going to work. Okay, so we're going to go in, and you can see that we've got the... We've got the material and it says one default. You can, uh, to, to get that texture back, go ahead and click on the little dot next to albedo. And, you're, and now there's your texture. Your texture is in your assets. It's ready for you. So double click that. And I would go ahead and increase the albedo to white. And that ought to brighten her up a little bit. Uh, later on, we can talk about maybe an HDR map or something like that. But but that's that's going to be that's gonna be pretty good. So um, we got that. Now you can see our materials here. We could rename it. You could actually call this like Sky Dome or something like that, or like Miami. That might matter later when we start to change the textures. That's going to be part three. Um, so we've got that, and that looks fine. Okay, and then we're going to go into our prefabs and go to Sky Dome, and there you go. So we've got the default material that says Miami. Everything's looking pretty good. So in that case, what we're going to do is go ahead and take that Sky Dome prefab and drop it into the uh, to the world and we kind of zoom into it let's see here double click on this and you can see it's pretty small uh, also it's been moved a bit we're going to go ahead and put it at zero 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 and then we'll double click on it again to get us there okay and that should put us see the camera and the session are all there if you click on ar camera you can see what the camera sees and you can see already it's very tiny like the way that we we like brought it in the scale we brought it in is not really big enough um so go back to sky dome and i'm going to go ahead and increase the scale to three make sure it's all increased and then go back to my camera and now i'm kind of inside of it you can 
you can kind of see that, you know, from this preview here. This is difficult because it's using the AR camera. It's not using the um, uh, the kind of the kind of uh, game camera. Um, if you get kind of confused by things, you can you can turn off some of the icons uh, here. You can maybe you turn that one back on, but that's that's basically like where we are. Um, so the AR camera has us inside, and you can you can see that the normals are flipped. We're inside of the dome, and that's actually exactly uh, what we want. Um, so you can go back again to the camera. You can experiment with it and go back to the sky dome and say, well, what would happen if I you know, increased it by four? You can kind of use your best judgment. Um, once you build it and put it into the phone, um, you'll get a better feel for it. Um, but at that point, yeah, like go ahead. This is all. This is pretty much all you need to get that part going. So just go ahead and go file, uh, build settings, and uh, you're going to make sure you're building for whatever your system is. You're going to go ahead and build that load it up in Xcode on your phone. Uh, and that'll actually give you what I what I what I just showed. Um, that you're you're kind of inside the dome. The camera is like floating inside. Right? If you wanted to change that, you can go ahead and go to the top view and you could you could kind of pull that you could kind of pull that camera back into the dome. What you want to be careful of is that you don't move it around and then actually end up you know, inside, like, like actually seeing outside the sphere. So you want to make sure the sphere is big enough that that's the effect you get. If you don't like the view you have, you can click on the sphere and you can go ahead and look at like what the viewport looks like and you can rotate it, you know, here, you can type it in. Oops, not there. That's the position. Don't do that, Nick. Um, you can say rotate it, you know, 90 degrees or something like that. And you could set your view up to be a little bit nicer. This texture is panoramic; it wraps around, so it's gonna it's gonna look pretty good from all angles. But that'll kind of help you establish like what the kind of starting view is. You can see the kind of view cone for the AR camera. Um, at this point, that's all you pretty much need to do just to get this thing working, so that you can kind of like you know move around inside of it as if you're kind of on a paraglider or uh, or maybe looking at it from from like a building up high or something like that. Um, and that's it. So, um, you know, from here, what we would do is again probably add some HDR to get to get some of the lighting to look a little bit snappier, look a little brighter than what I had. Um, you could also um, what we're working on is a gesture so that if you swipe the phone, it will actually change the texture, um, and that'll be something that we talk about uh, in a future video. But that's it. So just you know, really easy way to kind of get this immersive sky dome going. Uh, build that dome with a flip normal, put it on the origin, make it big. And uh, that's it. So yeah, from there, again, if you go ahead and build it, uh, all that should work just fine. All right, I'll see you around.